Hi, I'm Janelle Riley, and you're watching Behind the Scenes. I'm here today with actor, writer, producer, uh, horror fanatic Yuri Lowenthal, yes. and we're going to talk about one of our favorite genres, horror films. Um, next week is uh, there's a horror film opening called Frozen, written directed by Adam Green, who did the movie Hatchet, and the premise is literally three people trapped on a ski lift. Yeah, well, I would I would love to see it because I'm always I love that challenge of. Here's it's simple, it's basically in one place, now make it interesting for at least an hour and a half on screen, which is, which is always huge, and some people get it right, and some people get it wrong. Um, but I have heard really good buzz about that, and I can't wait to see it. It's hard to get that sort of slight you know, edge of comedy into that, into horror. Drag Me to Hell, I thought was great, and plays on a lot of those things. Um, but also, uh, Dead Snow, that was a lot of fun. I love Drag Me to Hell. I, I thought it was going to be terrible because it was PG-13. I was like, how right. scary can it be? Right. Scared <laughs> me to death. It didn't do well at the box office. Which, which is surprising because, you know, people are obviously hungry for it. You know, Paranormal Activity, while it had a different kind of buzz, you know, was, was a horror film. And, you know, everybody was talking about it. It had its own specific Blair Witchy, you know, thing going for it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of sequels. They just announced they're making a Paranormal Activity 2. Yeah. We're on Saw 27, I right. think. Uh, have there been good horror sequels? We got our sequels, which were also remakes of sequels. You know, we got our Halloween 2, and we got our uh, Friday the 13th, and we got our Last House on the Left, which, which I, wor I worked on. I was in the loop group for that. I destroyed my voice screaming uh, bloody murder for that movie, but I still haven't seen it. But I heard was... It's got Garrett Dillahunt in it. Um, I heard was pretty good, actually. I liked it more than the original. What is this? I can't move. You're paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't have any rope. Good duct tape. I don't know if we've been desensitized by you know the saws and the hostels and um, which you know a lot of people a lot of people come down on that. Um, I can't. I can't. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I am one of them because I prefer to see less and for the director to force me into my own head because I'm gonna create something awful and then I can't laugh it off later because I came up with it, you know? I loved the original Saw when it was a down and dirty indie right. film and right. didn't, I won't go near a hostel. And in fact, I'd like right. to encourage right. Right. Eli Wait, Roth's- Wait, a, a, hostel, a hostel in real life now no, that no, you've no, seen no. it? No, 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 just won't go near the movies. Oh, won't go near the movie, okay. Because uh, if you see the movie, you'll never go near a hostel for the rest of your life. And what are some of the other recent releases, or even if you want to go back a few years, mm -hmm. that people might not have heard of? Um, one that I think slipped away, Trick or Treat. Did you see Trick or Treat? I did. Trick or Treat, I thought, was a return to the horror movies that I watched when I was a kid. And also got the mixture of horror and comedy right, which most people try and fail at. Daddy! Be quiet. Why? You'll bother the neighbors. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you got some good recommendations for things to rent on DVD. Uh, my name's Janelle Riley. My guest has been Yuri Lowenthal. Thank you. Thank you for watching Behind the Scenes.